I just can't believe. I know you didn't subscribe to see me cry, so I'm sorry. Buongiorno. As you can see, I'm back in my apartment in Rome for a few days. It's been a whirlwind. I arrived a couple days ago back from Vermont. And it's been go, 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 go. Um, every day I've been packing or having people come over. Having people come over and like getting stuff, buying stuff. I put a lot of stuff on the Facebook marketplace. Um, yeah, um, it's been crazy. But I'm taking it one day at a time. Uh, if you guys saw my Instagram post the other day, the other week, uh, you know, I don't, I, I, I did share that I deal with a lot of anxiety with moving especially. I feel like I'm all about the thoughts rather than doing it. And then once I start doing it, it's not as bad. So anyways, it's been not as bad every day. I just take a little at a time. Um, and yeah, so the game plan is to, we are leaving, Emilio's working, he's out of town. He comes uh, next week. And then two days after he gets back, we are driving down with Barolo to his sister's house in Calabria. Um, and then the plan is to, he has some work going on this summer, but um, the home base, we are leaving our apartment. Uh, we, we, you know, canceled our lease. And, and we are leaving our apartment. Home base is going to be in Calabria. And then in September, I'll come back up to Rome. My mom's coming to meet me. We're gonna spend a week in Rome together and then she's gonna fly back with me to Houston with the cat. So we've been doing all, you know, we finally, you know, solidified that and got our flights, got our Airbnb, um, you know, did everything with the airlines about the cat and yeah, it's one, one day at a time. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, you know, moving is stressful for anybody, but a an international move I think is is pretty stressful, especially when you have pets involved. Um, yeah, because you know when you move in the same city, heck, the same country, you can like keep stuff in boxes, or you know keep stuff as they are and like drive them to the next house. Whereas here, it's like you really have to get rid of everything that you don't need. Emilio and I have we've already we already shipped two really big boxes to Houston of stuff like ceramics that were gifted to us for our wedding, and things like that. We can't pack. We actually shipped them already. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to give kind of give you an update, you know, chat, little vlog action going on here. Mm. crazy like it's very bittersweet seeing my apartment getting emptier and emptier by the day um i feel like this oh every time i feel like I do, i'm not gonna get emotional i get emotional like i've been doing great and i've been like yeah go 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 i think i'm getting emotional because it's like a whirlwind of emotions um because you know this apartment has brought me a lot i remember the first day i moved with Emilio, he picked me up from the airport. I had four suitcases and we, we got into this empty apartment with just a couch and a mattress on the floor. And I remember we got pizza and we brought the pizza and we just like sat on our floor and ate pizza. And I was just like, wow, I'm in Italy. And you know, three and a half years later, I just can't believe. Oh. I didn't think I was gonna cry. I don't know where these emotions are coming from. I think, I think it's a whirlwind of emotions. Like I'm very excited for our next chapter. 
there's a whole reason why we're moving back to the states you guys i've told you many times i want to be closer to my family at least for now uh, we want to start a family in the states and you know italy has gave, given me so much but it's kind of time to move on at least for this part of our lives the beautiful thing about being dual citizens and having family still in italy is we'll be back a lot and we can always come back all the things that have happened in this apartment you know um, you know i started filming when i started filming videos we got barolo and you know i a lot i felt all the feels in this apartment loneliness sadness homesickness success happiness so i didn't feel this way leaving my apartment in boston so that's so weird i feel like a lot of growth has happened in this apartment I'm ready, I'm ready for ne the next chapter and you know, I came here to be with my husband and now we are going, we're, we're embarking on a new journey together which is really exciting and Houston is where I'm from if you guys didn't know and I, I thought I would never be back. You know when you're from somewhere and you grew up there, you le like I left for college and I never thought I was gonna be back. But sometimes things kind of go 360 and circle around and it just seems like the right place to be right now, to be with family, to for opportunity, for just life comfort for us. And you know, it's just crazy. I really didn't think I would ever go back to Houston, but there's a lot going on there for us right now. So, <laughs> feeling all the feels. I've been super like, yeah, yeah, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. And then now I'm sitting down re reflecting on everything and it's a, it's a lot. I'm excited, but you know, it's a lot. And it, it's not, I'm not crying from stress. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm, you know, I'm just emotional. I'm feeling everything that's happening in this apartment. And And I'm really gonna miss my husband's family. And I'm gonna spend all summer with them. So um, I'm like prematurely crying. <laughs> but, you know, one of my husband's sisters lives right down the street from us. So they're not gonna be their neighbors anymore, you know? So, anyway, let's. Stop the feels. <laughs> I just wanted to catch up with you guys and mm. oh god, literally my life has changed in this apartment. I've met some of my best friends in this city and it's been my safe space for the last three and a half years. So, but I'm super excited the, where we're moving to. We have, I'm super like, I'm just, I'm excited for what's to come. Doesn't mean that I'm not gonna miss what has happened, but you know, this is just gonna be the end of one chapter uh, of the book. You know, hopefully the next chapter is better than this, but I don't know how I'm gonna be able to top off Italy, <laughs> but I think the next chapter is gonna be different. It's gonna be a whole, you know, it's gonna be, be my 30s, the next chapter, and just wanna start some other things in our life that we just don't see happening here in, it, 
in Italy, unfortunately, due like to the economy and just other things. So who knows? You know, my I just got my dad just had a, a, a new baby. My half sister, she just turned one year, and I haven't really gotten to know her at all. And so I'm I'm excited to go back and be able to spend more time with immediate family. Um, it's just it's time for now, you know. You know when you know, you know. <laughs> right? We got you in this apartment. Your little kitten. We're trying to stay cool. So today my game plan is, um, hello. <laughs> okay. We got a full view of Barolo and he's naturally here because I have the food in front. So I, I contacted a, an animal shelter that's outside of Rome um, to see if they were interested in Barolo's things because we can't take his cat tree and a lot of his toys and like a food and water bowl that we got that he never uses. Um, and I just don't want to throw that stuff away. And so I, I asked them if they would want it to donate it to them. So they're coming tonight to pick up everything, but they asked that I did like dissemble the, that, that, that I take apart the cat tree because it won't fit in the car. So today we're going to dis, we're going, we're going to take that apart. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of organizing, organizing see what else I can recycle and get out of the house. So let's go ahead and take this cat tree apart. All right, so my camera died and I left my battery charger in the States. <laughs> I ordered one as soon as I got back um, and it's supposed to arrive sometime today. So I'm using my phone right now and I'm actually gonna put you guys up. I wanted to show you this. This is, I don't know, it's, it's, this is from a company called Tarion. Tyrion, Tyrion, and they sent me this tripod. I'm gonna put you here right now, and I'll show you. It's really cool. It's a tripod for your phone, and it's perfect for traveling because it's super small and compact, and it's really easy to handle. So let me show you. You just kind of take, and yes, excuse the mess in my house right now. You take this off, and then you just let go, watch. Super cool, and then you put your phone here and so and then you just place it down Every time I see you guys, I'm eating watermelon. It's like my fruit of choice in the summer. As you guys could see, my living room is empty. I am on the floor, and someone is coming to get the TV today. It's crazy. They came yesterday to get two couches, this one and then the one in where my desk was. Everything's gone, pretty much. So it's kind of crazy, I'm exhausted. But now it's like been kind of dragged out, you know, for a couple weeks and I'm, I'm so ready to just get out. And it's bittersweet, you know, like I said last time, but I'm ready now and Barolo doesn't know what's going on. 
<laughs> um, he's like, hey, where's the couch that I like to jump on? Where's my cat tower? But he's been so good. He's just by my side, chilling like a villain. And Emilio gets home tomorrow from his work trip and we have a lot of things to do tomorrow. We are going to take Barolo to get his passport and then we're gonna do all last minute things. I think we're gonna ship two more boxes to the States. Books and things that, are, that we decided that we don't wanna, like special books, you know, that we don't want to donate or get rid of. Um, and then Friday, they're coming in to take like the big furniture and, and it's like, it's called a Mercatino and it's like a, how do you explain it? It's like a shop, an antiques place, I guess, that you go and buy like secondhand items and a lot of furniture is like their antiques there. So they're gonna come and get like the big stuff like that and the mirror and uh, our bed and, and all that kind of stuff. And they're taking it away and then our apartment will officially be empty and we are going to drive down to Calabria um, I think Friday if we have time like we if we do everything in time I, think. I feel like there's an echo in here do you hear that echo echo I just want to show you the progress that I've done since the last time I saw you guys so let's do a little tour of the casa all right, so you walk in and our couch used to be there. They took the table. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, there's still the lamp and stuff. I need to get that, take that down. And then our kitchen, they're taking the table away on Friday. And then I think, did I show you this last time? Everything in the kitchen besides paper plates are, is completely Gone! Crazy! So crazy. Absolutely crazy. And then... Bathroom is just normal. Oh, this room. Couch is gone. Desk is gone. This is just the clothes that I've been wearing the last week or so and then the bedroom is dark because um it's hot af and i have the fan on um but yeah i mean they're these are all of amelia's books i have to figure out what we're gonna do with those those are not the ones that we are not going to be shipping i still have a few little last minute things that i have to do in terms of like throwing stuff away putting stuff in a little weekend bag um Tomorrow's honestly gonna be a very long day once Emilio's in town. I feel bad because he's been out for so long. And then his only day home, we have to do all this stuff. But the, a lot of that stuff is stuff I can't do. Like he has to do also. So yeah, progress. What do you think, little guy? He has no idea what's going on. But he is coming with us for the eight hour road trip. Probably show you guys once everything is completely gone, so Friday, I'll probably show, I'll probably film the empty apartment um, before I post this video. So next time I see you, nothing's gonna be in here. All right guys, it's empty. We're about to take all this stuff to the car. It's all, all empty. Look at this. Completely empty. This is crazy. Do you hear the echo? Bye bye, apartment. But are you ready for the trip? All right.